What's up guys? Welcome back to Ride the Coffee Bean. Today I am uh, in Thessaloniki in Greece and I have a couple hours to kill so I figured why not visit some coffee shops. There's two coffee shops that have been recommended here and uh, the first one is called Naked. Naked coffee shop is less than a year old and Kostas, the owner, opened it with his wife. They get all their coffees from a roastery in Amsterdam in order to remain consistent in taste and quality every day. The concept is like we want to promote sustainability. That's why naked, because we try to like keep everything like naked. Like if you see the place, there is not plastic, there is not fabrics, there is not like anything covered. That's also us as people. We're like super open, like transparent and and uh, that's what also the coffee represents. It's like all the coffees are bio and are fair trade. And this is what we want to promote sustainability in the people. The culture of coffee is like, especially in Thessaloniki, I would say it's the capital of coffee in Greece, not in worldwide. In Greece, the capital of coffee, people drink a lot of coffee, but they are not, I would say, cultivate, like educate enough to separate the good coffee with the normal coffee. Like we try to teach them like the difference and like how to appreciate a nice cup of coffee with just the coffee. In Greece, a lot of people are not used to drinking warm coffee. Most of the coffee is consumed with ice. Naked revisits these traditions with specialty coffee and encourages the locals to try new types of brews as well. It smells really nice. It tastes even better. Mm. They're like super smooth. Fruity. That was a really cool place. Awesome atmosphere, great people and amazing coffee. Definitely worth a visit if you're ever in Thessaloniki. The next shop uh, I want to visit is a place recommended to me by the barista I met in Caterini when I was uh, traveling here. I was riding through and uh, it's called Valenio. Valenio is a four-year-old coffee shop that rolls their own coffee and you can find their coffees in many shops around town. My name is Valandis, my nickname is Valenio. Yes, I'm the owner and the head roaster. I'm involved in coffee industry 24 years now. I have 15 years I'm teaching in coffee academies, in competitors for the competitions. Uh, I drink a lot of coffee and uh, for me, uh, quality coffee is very important because uh, it makes my day. <laughs> the coffee, it was like uh, magic for me because if we brew a uh, good coffee and uh, give to the people a uh, quality coffee. Uh, I love to see every time, every morning, their smiles. When uh, you brew quality coffee and you make the day of a person, it's like happiness. You're a judge at the World Barista Championship? Yes, I was judging now in Athens. First time in Greece, in Athens, World Barista Championship. Uh, last year I was uh, judging the latte art in uh, Milan. I'm certified the international judge for the World Barista and the, for the World Latte Art uh, Championship. We have only specialty grade coffees and uh, we have also equipment and barista tools. You can find everything about coffee, from a filter coffee until to an uh, espresso machine, everything. Uh, for me, it was very important in my hometown, Thessaloniki, in Greece, uh, to go in a coffee shop to drink coffee, to buy coffee for, uh, from uh, themselves and to buy whatever I need to brew coffee in home. That's we make this coffee shop. We have everything about coffee. Barista tools, coffee equipment, uh, coffee beans. We roast uh, nine different uh, origins. It's very important. We try to uh, give the people high quality coffee and the step by step to change from the commercial market to understand what is the difference from uh, a high quality coffee. The Greek culture uh, for coffee, they love to drink instant coffee for a lot of years. Instant cold coffee, like a frappe. It, it turns now to Freddo Espresso or Freddo Cappuccino. It is uh, cold beverages with espresso. It's the number one country in the world that the, we drink cold beverages with coffee, summer and winter. We don't roast Omni for every origin. We have different roasts for filter, different roasts for espresso, and also 
different roles for Chesbe Ibrick. Chesbe? Chesbe. That's, yes. that's a coffee I'm, I'm not very familiar with. Yes. I've, I've only tasted it a few times. Yes. But never with specialty coffee. Never? You will taste it now. Oh, yeah? Yes, of course. The Ibrick stems from Turkey and is commonly called Turkish coffee or Chesbe in Turkish. You can find it not only in Turkey but also in the Balkans and Greece which were influenced by the Ottoman Empire. Here in Greece they call it Greek coffee, but it's the same process. Valenia prepared it for me in a traditional way. It is brewed slowly in a little pitcher, traditionally in hot sand, but in modern coffee shops they use propane burners instead. You need patience to make it, as you have to wait for it to rise several times. And you also need patience before you drink it, once it's ready. I am not used to this, so I impatiently tasted it a bit too soon. Thank you. You have, to, you have to wait 60 seconds. It's wait 60 seconds? Hot. Yes. Uh, it's too hot. It's a little bit grainy. It's like a... Yeah, but soup. you have to wait 60 seconds to take down all the fines of the coffee and to cool down the temperature. You can wait and make like this yeah. to go the cream apart okay. and uh, to cool down a little bit the coffee. Yes, yes, like real traditional Greek guy. <laughs> <laughs> we take the first sip, sip like this. LB. Yes, take back the crema and taste the liquid, the coffee. Yes, oh. like this. Oh, it tastes very different. Exactly. Ah, this cool. is the, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Take back the crema and taste it again. Well, this is actually pretty good. Exactly. It's like you if, you, the... if you wait one minute more, it's, uh, you will taste the different profile. Yeah? Yes, enjoy. Take your time because for the Greek coffee, you have to take your time. <laughs> it's not like oh, sip cool. of espresso. Well, thank you so much. That was such a cool place. And I got to try uh, uh, Imbrik with specialty coffee for the first time. That was actually really good. So Turkish coffee, all the Turkish coffee, or I guess you call it Greek coffee here, that I've tried before uh, has not really been good. So I've always been curious what it would taste like uh, with specialty coffee. And it's actually really good. So these were the two shops that uh, I was recommended that I had to check out when I was in Thessaloniki. And I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick little uh, guide of coffee here in, uh, in the city. If you did, give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and ring the bell if you want to see uh, where I end up next. I'm going to Turkey now. So I'm really curious to learn a little bit about Turkish coffee culture. So if you want to see that, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. From nearly hill far, as a gift. Thank you so much. You don't have to give me, but no, no. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> we have nine different origins, but this is my favorite. I love Kenyan coffee. Oh yeah. Yes.